Hello students, so let's try to solve this problem and this is question ID 705022 and that is from the CSIR NET examination 2024 uh, June examination. So it is from the moment of inertia and it is wonderful problem. A uniform plane square sheet, so square sheet is given, of the mass M is centered at the origin of inertial frame. The sheet is rotating about an axis passing through the origin. At the instant where all the vertices lie on xy axis, the angular momentum is given by L is equal to I naught omega naught 2i plus j plus 2k, where I naught is the moment of inertia about the x axis. At this instant, what should be the angular speed or angular velocity of that particular sheet? So let's try to go for this one. So suppose we have, uh, we have angular momentum and this angular momentum is given by uh, basically L and this L is given by we have I naught omega and what it is it is 2 I cap plus J cap plus 2 time K cap so this is my angular momentum and uh, if we will write the moment of inertia tensor for a situation where my square is something like that the square is something like that. This is my x-axis, this is my y-axis, and this is perpendicular axis. And the length is A here, and length is A here. Then what will be my moment of inertia tensor? The moment of inertia tensor will be diagonal 1, and we have m a square by 12, 0, 0, 0, m a square by 12, 0, and you have 0, 0, m a square by 6. So this is my moment of inertia tensor and uh, this is my i x x, this is i y y, this is i z z. So I can write this moment of inertia something like i naught, this is given i x x is i naught, 0, 0, 0, i naught, 0, 0, 0, 2 i naught. Now this is the moment of inertia, now it is also given when my complete system so this is a square so it is completely symmetric system so if uh, this rec this is square will have this kind of situation if a square have this kind of situation and this is my x axis this is my y axis and again this is my perpendicular axis if it has this type of situation then it has angular momentum at this particular situation at this particular moment we have angular momentum and that is this one angular momentum so we have to write the moment of inertia tensor at this particular situation also obviously my drawing is not good so i will just make it again so at this particular situation what we have to do we have to write my moment of inertia tensor and we have to make a trick this is my x axis this is my y axis and this is my z axis suppose this is my this is a situation when you are going to rotate it but thing is that the moment of inertia tensor will remain same the moment of inertia tensor will remain same about x axis and about y axis why because if you are going to rotate it Suppose you are going to rotate and you are getting this particular situation, then Iz will be again Ixx plus Iyy, hence Iz will be remain same, so Ixx and Iyy will remain same because due to symmetry because these all thing will be remain same. So moment of inertia tensor is not going to change from this situation. So this is very interesting. So this is the real thing. Now we have moment of inertia tensor in this situation, either you are in this situation or this situation. The moment of inertia tensor will remain same because along the z-axis the moment of inertia will remain same and you have i x x is equal to i y y so obviously we can use the parallel axis theorem or uh, sorry perpendicular axis theorem and we will get this one so now how we will proceed it so now we can go for a situation where l can be written as i into omega and i can assume omega is nothing but omega x i cap, omega y j cap plus omega z k cap. So what is my L? L is given that value is equal to i omega naught and it is given as the, sub, I am writing in form of matrix 2, basically this can be written as 2, 1 and 
2 this is my l vector l angular momentum vector in a matrix form and my moment of inertia will remain same and it is diagonal in nature so this value is equal to remain same and here i can write omega x omega y omega z so what will happen we will just compare it so what we have 2 so i naught omega naught i cap plus i naught omega naught j cap plus 2 i naught omega naught k cap must be equal to we have i naught omega x plus i naught omega y plus 2 i naught omega z so this is along i cap this is along j cap this is along k cap so now what we will do we will just go and equate the coefficient so when we are going to equate the coefficient so omega x is equal to 2 time omega naught and omega y is equal to just omega naught and here omega z is equal to also omega naught so yes here we can get the situation so option number two is the correct one so two is the correct option so this is wonderful question this is the one of the question where the all concept of moment of inertia tensor the concept of uh, perpendicular axis theorem and all thing will become into picture and obviously hence it is a square so why we can do this thing because the square is a complete symmetric system under the rotation and obviously this rotation have very nice uh, so it is given that you are just having this kind of situation so yes we can do this problem in a very nice way and option number two is the correct one thank you